Hi, so I tried doing a makeup tutorial, but with kids and everything, I'm just going to hold off. Um, this is my after. Hopefully it looks good. I'm like, hopefully you guys, next time I do it, like it. Um, I use Bare Minerals, Bare Essentials. I have sensitive skin. I wish I can show you the before. I don't know how to do that yet. Um... Anyways, um, yeah, so, please get out. Kids, I've been, it's been, a, uh. <laughs> anyways, just in case you guys haven't checked, um, subscribe to me or know who I am, I'm Julie. I am a year and a half on the 11th of my gas BSG anniversary. Um, so my anniversary date, June 11th, 2015. Um, I'm just numbers. I'm 5'1", 35, mother of five. Um... I um, started my high height. Ah, my weight was three or four day of surgery. Um, I'm now in the one between 130 and 140. I don't weigh myself. The last time I weighed myself, I was 138. That was over a month ago. So I figure I'm maybe 140. I my lowest so far that I weighed myself was 132. Well, 131 point, like, I think 12, so 132. And, um, but I'm no longer at a job that I was at that was really, really physically demanding. Um, so I feel, yeah, probably 140, I would say. Anyways, and, um, just a check in, just to say, yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm like breaking out, as you can tell right here. So, my kids are, like, yelling, and I'm going to have to yell at them. It's like, uh, I can't wait for them to go to school. Tuesday, a couple more days, so. Uh, I'm trying to talk louder since I sat up and got further away. Um, subscribe to me, leave comments. I, again, tried doing a makeup tutorial. It just took so long. Kept getting interrupted. I did my makeup. I have to go to work. So that's why I was like, well, let's see how it goes with the tutorial. Um, I'm doing my makeup because I'm getting too many comments like, oh, you're looking sick. You're, you, you know, um, don't lose too much and all this. And I'm just kept thinking, why well, don't do, I'm not with makeup on. Maybe I am old. I'm not like 15 with all young, fresh skin or whatever and um I'm breaking out it's that time you know <laughs> those hormones that time of month anyways TMI sorry <laughs> but um so again I thought well let me do makeup and then then let's see how many comments I get of oh you're looking sickly you're not you know eat or and I eat believe me I grub like I'm I constantly eat all day so yeah I'm just um I do eat proteins. I don't eat gluten. Gluten affects me. I'm not, I don't think, I have no allergies or anything. It's just my body doesn't want it after the surgery, doesn't want it, which is awesome because I think I would have gained weight or plateaued certainly a lot sooner. And, um, but I've already before then eat clean and try to keep eating clean. I do eat like potato chips. I'll have the random craving. I'm not going to lie. I am becoming, since the holiday, doing candies and things like that, I am almost a junkie for, um, like, jelly belly, like, hard candies, second candies, so, still not really so much into chocolates, I love chocolate, like, good chocolate, though, I don't, I can't do Hershey's, I can't do, and that sugar, and if I do get sugar, it's gonna be a Starburst, Skittles, like, those are my jelly bellies, those are my weaknesses right now. And yeah, so mm, I've been totally, and I think that's what's causing my breakout too. I've been, it's been so cold, I've been totally hitting up Starbucks. I'm a junkie right now for the tuxedo. And I think the caffeine maybe, or it could be the sugar. So 
me eating the candies and getting the caffeine. So I'm going to cut back on that and see how my face does. Um, I My goal weight right now, I want to get down to 115. So I know one, 105, 115, somewhere in there. I know you say, oh, that's a drastic. It is drastic, but I want to get rid of as much fat off my body. I want to be as lean as possible. This is me. Let me stand up. I'm like, sorry, my ribs are huge. But this is me. It's not a great angle, but this is me. Um, I don't know. Yeah, so this is me right here. Emma. I want to I wanna be, sorry, let me do adjust. Let me adjust. I feel like I was falling out right now. Um, my pants are... My pants are, I'm wearing right now literally a 16 and little girls, like little girls, not youth. And yeah, as you can see, I don't know if you can see that they're like totally, I could go smaller, definitely. Um, this is my belly, mama five. I don't think I, I mean, I don't need a lower, I don't need to have surgery. It'd be nice to, so that I could see the abs. These are my scars from the surgery and just kids, kids. Again, mama five, so I don't really have a gut that hangs over. I don't know if you can see that. Um, my camera sucks, sorry. Um, this is the one I, that I know how to download on the kids' tablet. And then, yeah, like I said, my pants are totally huge. Anyways, um, so yeah, that's me. Let me tuck in my shirt. Sorry. Anyway, so that's me. Um, what else? That's it, I guess. I don't really have much to say. I did totally love doing the tutorial, and I think once the kids are in school, I'm going to totally do it. And I feel better when I do my makeup anyways. And then I got to go to work tonight. So, and again, with all, I work with kids. I love working with my coworkers. They're awesome. My BFFs. And <laughs> hey, Juanito. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just, I know, I, it's not so much a downer, but it is kind of a downer and people like constantly feel that they can make comments about my body and it's okay. I mean, I know if I ask you like, you know, am I looking okay? But you know what I mean? If I see you just, Hey, how are you? you look good or like or if I don't look good if my face looks like crap that day or whatever just oh you know your, your shirt's cute I mean you know what I mean like I don't know don't I don't know and then sometimes I just think I have to remind myself they don't know me any other way other than big so to see me like this again yeah and because the people I'm not gonna lie the people that knew me back in the day I led a different life I'm a Christian now, yay. I was born Catholic, raised Catholic, but now, you know, I, for me, for my personal, for my walk, my journey, um, I'm a Christian, and um, yeah, so a lot of my lifestyle, a lot of the people that were in my life are no longer, so those that may remember me, but then again, um, yeah, I don't know. It is what it is. Um, please, if I'm mean, just if you know someone that's gone through this, or if you yourself are thinking about having the sleeve or just got the sleeve, be prepared for people to come up to you and just think it's okay to say like, "Oh, you look, you look like you're sick, or you look like you're dying, you look like you have a disease." You look to just make body comments about you and feel it's okay. Like, I haven't shared with everybody that I had the sleeve. I would just tell them I work out, which is not a lie. Like, I just omitted the whole, I got an operation. And not because I was ashamed of it, but just, that's my, that's my personal, that's me. You know what I mean? If I share it with you, then I shared it with you. But just for some random person, you know, that sees me, like, once or twice a year, I'm not going to, you know, that's a personal journey of mine. And again, I'm sharing now on here, one, because I know how to download, but two, my, the videos I've seen helped me, and so I just want to help someone else.
and I want to give encouragement, and I want to prepare you again for, like, people coming up to you randomly and be like, oh, thinking it's okay, which, I mean, from some people it is okay, because, again, I see them daily, so I'm just like, okay, like, my cousins or my sisters or whatever, but for someone I don't see, like, once or twice a year, don't, don't tell me I look sick, because then in my head I'm thinking, okay, how rude, first off, because what if I was sick? If you don't know my personal walk and my journey with the surgery, what if I was sick? How How is that an uplifting thing to say somebody that you don't see all the time? You know what I mean? Like, how do you know I'm not going through depression? How do you know I'm not battling cancer, battling something? Which I'm not, you know, I'm, I shouldn't have said that because that, that's such a, yeah, I apologize. I don't mean to offend or put anyone off, you know, but I'm just saying, you know, don't, just be thoughtful. And for us that have got it, just I don't want to say get a thick skin, but prepare yourself. Don't take it too hard. It is offensive. I get offended sometimes. And some people, the way they say it, I you know if they're saying it to be hateful or jealous even. So they say it to just kind of, because they know you actually look good, but they're trying to pick at you, pick, pick you apart. And so be prepared for those people that act like they're all for it and all for you and happy, but they're always just going to throw that little bit of, you know, what's the new hip word shade your way. So, but other than that, if for if you are truly wanting to just let someone know, hey, you know, that you're worried, say it in a kinder, gentler way, or maybe pull them aside, or just ask them first, like, how are they feeling, or just take a note. Do they have makeup on? You know, I'm a woman, I'm 35 years old. Let me see another 35-year-old mother of five without makeup on and and put me side by side now if i look totally like the grim reaper got to hold of me then okay but if i just look like a tirada mama then you know what save the save your shade so i don't know that was just me touching in and thank you again again uh a year and a half out bsg 130 130 140 my weight current weight started Surgery date, 304, size 2 women's, I am now, I was a size 20, 22 women's date of, and yeah, thanks, and like and subscribe please, and leave comments, tell me how I can do better, thank you.